Hi friends and drama nerds, today's drama is about a movie titled, Behaving Badly. Teenager Rick getting chased by his best friend's mom around, but he has a crush on a beautiful girl and plans to win her heart by all means, to the point where he places a bet on this and things get ugly. At the start of the movie we open up in a room where a boy named Rick is confused and thinking about the mess he has made during the past few days and narrating about it, then heard a sound from the other room where his mom Lucy lying unconscious on the couch. Rick's mom Lucy had tried to commit to end it all for herself and it's not her first attempt by the way. We find out this when Rick calls for ambulance and they are familiar with this problem and know his mom. Then Rick learns about the latest letters by his mom in which it says that his mom came to know about her best friend Miss Bender and Rick's affair and maybe that's why Lucy tried to commit the attempt. Then Rick takes us in flashback where we see how it all started in the first place. Rick's mom Lucy is an alcoholic and she doesn't pay any attention to her kids. She talks about getting divorced from Rick's dad all the time but haven't happened yet. Rick has a sister named Kristen who works in a stripper club. Then we see Rick's dad Joseph and he also has nothing to do with their children. We also get to know that Rick has a crush on a girl in his class named Nina but he has never spoke to her. Then Rick goes to meet Jimmy the owner of the nightclub and Rick's sister Kristen. She also works in this very same club. Then Jimmy tells Rick to call one of his dancers. So for that Rick goes to that dancer's house but she does not want to go to the nightclub. So she starts seducing Rick and Rick happily accepts her offer as it is his first ever experience. Then he goes straight to his friend's house, Billy. There, we also see Billy's mom Miss Bender. Then Miss Bender sends Billy out to get some stuff and then when Rick is alone in the house, she starts getting close to him and this where their affair begins. The next day at the school, Billy and Rick are talking about proposing to Nina when Carlos comes there and he puts a bet with Rick that if he made Nina his girlfriend then he would give him $1,000 but if Rick could not make Nina a girlfriend so Rick has to pay him $1,000. Now hearing this Rick also agrees to this but later he realizes realizes that Carlos is the son of a gangster, and if he is not able to give the bet money then he can even kill him. After this, Rick sees Lola in the bathroom, she is actually an imaginary friend of Rick. Here Lola encourages Rick that he can impress Nina to make her his girlfriend. Then Rick finds out that Nina has a breakup with her boyfriend Kevin, and knowing this he starts feeling that he can make Nina his girlfriend. When their teacher is teaching them in the classroom, then suddenly he dies due to which the students get to leave. Then on his way out of school Rick talks to Nina and asks her to accompany accompany him to the funeral of the teacher. Then Kevin Harak shows up and starts bullying Rick. At that moment Nina says yes to accompany Rick to the funeral of the teacher in the face of Kevin. The next day he is at the teacher's funeral and those people were sitting in Rick's mom's car just then Nina tells Rick that she enjoys Josh Groban's music. On hearing this and to impress Nina, Rick tells her that he knows Josh Groban personally and he is also going to go to his concert tomorrow. Nina gets very excited hearing this and she asks him if she can come with him to see the concert together. During this pretentious conversation, someone hits them from behind, and on the way out Rick learns that he is the father with his people who has hit them. Father then apologizes to which Rick tells him to get his car repaired now, because Rick has promised to take Nina to the concert. So he goes to Jimmy, the the strip club manager, and asks him to get tickets for the concert for him. Jimmy agrees to help him but before that Jimmy gives Rick the task of getting the stuff from his dealer. Then Rick goes to get the stuff, and he keeps some of it for himself. Then, because Rick needed a car to go to the concert so he asks for Miss Bender's car and Miss Bender agrees to give him the car, after some fresh up of course. Next day when Rick goes to pick up the car, Miss Bender asks him to take Billy her son along with him. Then Rick and Billy go to Jimmy to get the tickets to the concert. But they find out that Jimmy has ditched them, and he didn't get them the tickets for the concert. Then both of them are confused and thinking where Nina shows up. There, Billy notices Rick's dad's car in front of the same motel, and on getting close to the window, they hear Rick's dad and Billy's dad with a girl inside having some intense actions. Now because Rick couldn't take Nina to the concert, he apologizes and Nina also forgives him. Then the next day, when they go to school, a new teacher comes to teach them and she also dies while teaching. Later on, when Rick comes home he gets a call from the car mechanic who was repairing his mom's car. Mechanic tells Rick that it will take another week to fix his car, so he lets Rick drive a very expensive car for a while. Rick is very happy about the car and has a lot of fun with Billy and Nina. But that night he is caught by the police actually the police had caught Rick because they had found the dead body of the mechanic in Rick's mom's car and because Rick was driving the mechanic's car that's why the police felt that Rick had murdered the mechanic. Then Rick is interrogated and he tells the police that he went to that mechanic to get the car repaired at the behest of the church father. Meanwhile a lawyer comes 
there, which was sent by the father of the church to help Rick and at his behest Rick puts all the blame on his dad and then the police let him go. When Rick was going to drop the lawyer home, the lawyer takes Rick's stuff that Jimmy told him to get him days before, and after getting drunk she starts getting close to Rick but because Rick is loyal to Nina that's why he drops the lawyer at her place and leaves. Upon arriving home he finds that his sister Kristen has invited several of her nightclub's friends to the house. Seeing this, Rick gets an idea on taking advantage of the opportunity, and he tells Billy that they should open in strip club for the night, so that they can earn the betting money to give to Carlos. Rick is thinking that he still will lose the bet on getting Nina as his girlfriend, so he better be prepared by doing this. Then Rick tells all this to Kristen and everyone else, and they all agree to it. Then Billy also calls his mom Miss Bender, but the thing is that Rick is not happy about it at all. He is tired of her, because she always chases him around. Then Billy goes out when Miss Bender tries to forcefully make love with Rick, but Rick is trying to avoid her. Then after a while Billy comes inside and he notices his mom doing things with his friend Rick, and Rick tells Billy to take his mom to another room. After this Rick invites Jimmy to the party so that he can handle Billy's mom. After the party begins, Billy and Rick start earning good money, and after a while Jimmy comes there and Rick sends him to Miss Bender to get to work. After this Nina also comes there, because she was worried about Rick and about the police case. Rick takes her to his room where they both warming up by talking and getting close, but that's when Miss Bender comes in, then at the same time the owner of the nightclub shows up in anger because his girls that Rick is using them to earn money. Here Nina comes to know that Rick is having an affair with Miss Bender due to which she gets angry and starts leaving from there seeing her leave Rick tries to convince her but then Nina learns one more thing, that Rick has bet Carlos to impress her due to which she becomes even more irritated. Meanwhile the policemen arrive because Rick had opened the nightclub in the neighborhood without permission. Here the police arrest everyone except Rick, and with all of them Nina is also arrested because of the accident hitting the police's face when she tried to hit Rick. All these makes Rick feel very bad. The next day Rick goes to the police station to meet everyone, where he learns that Nina also fell in love with him but now after all these incidents she does not even want to see his face. When he comes home Rick gets a call from his dad, saying that he got into a lot of trouble because Rick had given his name at the police station. So whatever was happening in the movie till now was a flashback. And now we will see the next story as Rick is now in trouble from all over his surrounding. So he goes to the church to confess. Once there, he tells the father about the lie scumbags and confesses about the affair with Miss Bender. And funny enough, the father starts fighting him because he was also having an affair with Miss Bender and he has got craps as the result. After all this Rick goes to Miss Bender and makes her to end their affair forever. Then Rick goes to the hospital to see his mom there. When he is talking to his mom, his mom notices that Rick is very upset, to which she tells Rick that he hasn't done anything to be unfixable, and he has to start fixing all this mess and to admit his mistakes. Hearing all this, Rick gets motivated but Carlos catches him because Rick hasn't given him the bet money yet. Here Carlos proceeds to bite Rick's fingers and seeing this Rick gets very nervous but Carlos laughs and tells Rick that he was just joking, then lets him leave. After this, Rick goes to the lawyer and calls him that he needs her help to get his friend out of jail. Now because Rick did not have the money to bail his friend, so the lawyer hires him on a part-time job. The the lawyer then goes to the police station and gets Rick's friend released. After this, Rick goes back to the hospital to meet his mom where we come to know that Nina is doing a part-time job there. Rick goes to his mom and gives her a divorce paper so that his mother can divorce his father, and gives his sister the college papers so that she can go back, as she was suspended because the jail case. Rick was coming out of the hospital meets Nina. First of all, Rick apologizes to her for everything, and then he tells her his heart. Nina also started liking Rick, so she accepts his proposal after which both kissed the movie ends here.